Hello, my name is Sean McCafferty. I'm associated with Intour Technologies, Arizona Eye Consultants, the University of Arizona, and I am presenting an NIH-funded grant study examining the tear film adhesion error found in Goldman Applination Tonometry. The study is called Goldman Applination Tonometry Isolated Tear Film Error and a Method for Correction. Specifically, we're presenting a method to measure the isolated tear film adhesion total error in Goldman Appalachian Tonometry and evaluate a partial correction. Noting that there are several other biomechanical errors inherent in Goldman Appalachian Tonometry, the purpose of this study is to quantify the isolated tear film adhesion error, present a mathematical model, and evaluate a solution for reducing that error. Several major errors have been found in Goldman Appalachian Tonometry. Corneal tear film has long been ignored compared to the other standard corneal biomechanical errors such as central corneal thickness, and thought to partially negate these other factors. We are only able to locate two studies estimating the corneal tear film adhesion to be between 2 and 4 millimeters of lowered intracamera, lowered pressure compared to Goldman Appalachian Tonometry. Mathematical modeling was developed by examining a surface tension attraction between the tonometer face and the cornea. The critical parameters were the surface tension, area of the Myers, and the contact angle between the cornea and the tonometer. Our modeling indicated that opening the contact angle between the cornea and the tonometer face by sloping it away from the cornea over the area of the Myers significantly reduce the tear film adhesion. As clinicians, we know this intuitively. When you take the contact angle down to zero, such as an adhered rigid gas permeable lens, the, ad the adhesion approaches infinity. We then incorporated this open angle design into a modified tonometer surface. We wanted to quantify an isolated tear film adhesion and validate the theoretical findings. We started by producing an acrylic corneal model laid flat over the central 3.06 millimeters to simulate the conditions of full applanation. We then applied an artificial tear and measured the force to separate the tonometer prism from the acrylic cornea. Applanation Meyer thickness was simultaneously measured as a possible contributing factor. Pressurized human cadaver eyes were also measured with the same apparatus but this also simultaneously measures the IOP force and cannot fully isolate the tear film. Measuring the prism separation force from a cadaver eye also measures the intraocular pressure over a dynamically reducing area such as what's shown here. Thus, the tear film force is not isolated. Theoretically, if the intraocular pressure were zero, we could measure the tear film adhesion. Again, we have demonstrated this as clinicians when measuring IOP on hypotenuse eyes. The prism actually sticks to the cornea, requiring us to back the slit lamp up to get it separated. However, there is a mathematical trick to measure the tear film adhesion force at an IOP of zero by taking the limit of reducing IOP as it approaches zero, which is of course what we did. We found a significant tear film adhesion error of 4.6 millimeters of mercury lower than the true intracameral pressure. The modified surface prism reduced this tear film or error by 41%. We corroborated our findings in human cadaver eyes by examining the limit of reducing IOP as it approached zero. Again, the tear film adhesion was significant at 3.3 millimeters of mercury lower than the true intracameral pressure and the modified surface reduced it by 60%. Of interest, we found almost no correlation between Meyer thickness and tear film adhesion. They appear to be independent. This cannot be fully interpreted to mean that the Meyer thickness is independent of all GAT IOP measurement error, but at least the surface tension adherence portion appears to have little or no effect. The takeaway from this study is the tear film adhesion error is significant in Goldman Applination Tonometry at about four and a half millimeters of mercury. A modified, a modified surface prism can reduce that IOP error by about 
And lastly, tear film adhesion appears to be independent of Meyer thickness. Thank you. Please contact us if you have any, any questions regarding this research.